Hey guys, so welcome to another voxel tutorial. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Today we're gonna do Figma and we're gonna play around with some blurred backgrounds that are perfect for glass morphism. And obviously it works the exact same way in Sketch, so don't worry, if you're using Sketch, just repeat the same steps and you're gonna be fine. And if you've seen my 2021 trends video, you're gonna know that these colorful blurry backgrounds are gonna be a thing this year. Number five is blurred colorful backgrounds. So if you want to use this trend, which is currently blowing up alongside glass morphism because it connects with glass morphism quite well, you need to be sure to blur the right image in the background. So let's create a glass morphic circle on a white background and we're going to be using a gradient from white to white with a couple of different opacity levels. You just pick your own. But obviously if it's white on white it's going to completely disappear. And that's why we need a nice blurred colorful background. For my background I'm going to go with a mix of orange, red and yellow. So let's start with the first shape. I'm creating an oval, picking a linear gradient and then I choose two very light shades of yellow. When this is done, go to effects and add a very heavy blur, so like a maximum blur possible to it. Move it to one corner, you can of course make it bigger a little bit, and then duplicate it. Move the duplicate to another corner and then modify both ends of the gradients from yellow to something a little bit more orange. Now repeat the process one more time and change both gradient values to red. The idea is for all those colors to be pretty close to each other on the color wheel, so don't really pick colors that are very far apart because it might be difficult to match them. But you can also play around with their opacity to make the background a lot lighter, like in this case. Now we can add a white inner shadow to our circle and create a heavy blur on it, and then add the standard background blur to create the main glassmorphic effect. And then you can duplicate the shape and move the one at the bottom to the side so you can see that the blur is actually happening. And you can either just duplicate those same glass morphic circles and make them smaller or bigger under the main shape or create some dedicated colorful circles with a matching gradient. But having a background done in this way is gonna make it look a lot more real and organic than just a regular gradient. And of course you can add a lot more of these points, so you can create more of these blurred shapes in the background to create more complex compositions of the gradient. Just play around with it until it feels and looks very nice. And you can also use the same kind of blurred backgrounds under your mockups with, you know, the screens inside, the phones and anything like that. So you just play around and have fun. So that's it for today guys, go play around with some nice blurred gradient background and as usual thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one, cheers!